What's up travelers? It's Eliz from Means to Travel and today we are going to start a brand new series on this channel. So I want to first acknowledge that I know that about 50% of the audience on this channel, at least at the time of filming this, is male. And I do want to say that the new series is going to be female centric. And that's because, well, I'm a female and I have some tips that I want to share. So the actual title of the series is Female Traveler Friday that we're going to be starting and I've been thinking about doing this for over a year now. I even have some footage that I'm going to share in next week's Female Traveler Friday video that I did film while I was in Bristol, England last October. So this has been a little bit of a long time coming. I just didn't know really when the right time to start it would be. That being said, I'm just going to go for it. Hopefully you guys really like this. Give me some feedback if you do along the way. Thumbs up the videos, subscribe, add your comments. And so that way I can know whether or not this is really resonating for at least the female audience on Means to Travel. All right, so with all that being said, the series is going to include really quick tips each Friday within specific categories that I feel are a little bit more female focused. So there's going to be tips that I share about beauty, attire, women's health, product reviews for female travelers, and just kind of like general safety tips, that sort of thing. So with all of that, I have a ton of content ideas in mind, so I'm kind of hoping that you guys are into this video series too, fingers crossed. But we're just gonna roll with it over the next couple Couple weeks and see what you guys have to say. All right, so without further ado, we're gonna jump into this week's topic, and that is about jewelry. So, as you can see, I'm wearing a necklace, I'm wearing rings, I'm wearing earrings today, and wearing jewelry can be really easy to do in order to accessorize your travel wardrobe. You can switch out a lot of the basic attire that you maybe are taking and add different accessories such as jewelry, scarves, watches, etc. that kind of add a little bit more oomph to the outfit. So, the first tip that I have though is that What's really important is to make sure that you do not take any valuable jewelry, any jewelry that you would be devastated to lose with you on your travels. So as you maybe saw from our filming of the, our UK vlogs, maybe if you've been following for a long time, you saw when Derek and I went to South America for our honeymoon or um, when we were traveling across the United States earlier this year, I never on those long trips have taken my engagement ring. I always put it into our safe and honestly, it's for both keeping the jewelry item safe and me safe. So my first tip is just making sure that anything that you bring doesn't really have a ton of value or if it does, definitely get insurance on that. I do still bring my wedding ring with us on our trip, so, and Derek still wears his wedding ring. We're not like wearing those silicone rings that maybe I might wear to a gym or something like that. So with that, you wanna make sure anything like that is insured because it has so much sentimental value, you definitely don't wanna lose it. And speaking of losing things, okay. I have lost a lot of jewelry at an airport once. And I'm saying this to you all so that way this does not happen to you. Okay, so I was flying standby from Chicago to LaGuardia Airport in New York City. And because I was the last on the plane, I needed to gate check my bag. And when that happens, sometimes you get to pick up your bag on the jet bridge when you land and sometimes you have to go all the way to baggage claim to get it. This was one of the times where it had to go all the way to baggage claim, unfortunately. And so when I went to go pick up my bag at baggage claim, I hadn't really thought twice about the fact that all of my jewelry that I keep in a little travel bag was in my roller bag. The actual bag itself arrived at baggage claim, but the jewelry bag somehow went missing out of the front pocket of my roller bag. Yes, I don't want this to happen to you. So definitely make sure that you put any of your jewelry into your personal item. Whether you're checking your bags, whether you're carrying on, everything that you bring that is jewelry related, put it in your personal item because there's gonna be so many different people within the airport system that have kind of like access to 
stealing things, um, if I'm being t perfectly honest. Even if you're not flying, still making sure that you have everything really safe with you if you're doing a road trip or something like that. Keeping everything in a safe place within your luggage is going to be key. The third tip I have is to make sure that you think through what makes the most sense in terms of jewelry materials that you bring. So something like silver, that can really tarnish very easily and needs to be cleaned a lot. So true, like real silver is not necessarily the best thing to bring when you're traveling. You might see the tarnish in photographs. You might just always kind of have to carry a cleaning solution with you too and that can be kind of stinky. Um, so you want to just think about maybe the sterling silver, something really affordable, something that you can replace but still looks pretty. That can be a great, great option. Same with anything that's kind of like breakable. A lot of like really cheaply made metals um, can kind of bend and break a little bit too easily. So don't bring anything too cheap that's just gonna break on you. I guess find that happy medium of the materials that are gonna be super durable and hold their um, beauty, but then also won't, you know, just kind of snap apart and break. <laughs> and my next tip for jewelry is consider getting jewelry and bringing jewelry that is kind of neutral and can go with a lot of the other outfits that you bring. So for me, I typically am bringing lately this one jewelry set that has both gold and silver in it. So it definitely isn't just choosing one or the other and I can wear different purses depending on the purse hardware and still feel like the jewelry doesn't clash with the purse. If you know, maybe the purse hardware is gold and the jewelry is silver, something like that. So I typically opt for jewelry also that doesn't necessarily have like gemstones that are a specific color, unless I'm bringing a ton of clothes in that color or some, you know, a complementary color and I can wear that gemstone a lot. Obviously do whatever your style is, but my personal preference is to bring things that are silver or gold or both. And then if there's maybe like a black onyx or a pearl or just some sort of neutral gemstone, that works really well too. And then on top of that, I wear a lot of blue, for example, it's my favorite color. Um, maybe I would bring something blue, but again, only if I feel like it's gonna go with a lot of the outfits in my suitcase. And the final tip that I have is to make sure you have the right storage for your jewelry. I'm actually not like, somebody who puts all of their necklaces through straws so that way they don't get tangled. I know there are tons of people out there who do that and that is fantastic. I'm actually a pretty organized person but that's the one thing that I'm just like, eh, I don't know about that. I think if you put it into a bag that's a little bit nondescript, nothing that's labeled like jewelry <laughs> or um, you know something that is going to be durable. It's, uh, you don't want to just put it in a plastic bag where the jewelry can kind of like maybe there's going to get a hole in it and the jewelry is going to fall out or maybe it's you know people are going to be able to see through it and they're going to be really interested in potentially you know stealing it or something you know you want to avoid that absolutely. So um, having some sort of durable bag that you always keep your travel jewelry in is going to be great. If it is something that needs some sort of structure, think about that in advance, like well in advance before um, you start leaving on your trip. So that way you make sure to have exactly the right storage item for what you need to bring. So I hope you guys really liked these tips. If you did, please give them a thumbs up down below. And also don't forget to press that red subscribe button below so you don't miss any of our travel tips, female travel tips, other travel tips, travel vlogs, travel videos on this channel to come. And also if I missed anything, if you have really good tips for your travel jewelry process, please, we love learning from each other on this channel so much. Please put them down in the comment section down below so that way we all can really just educate each other and trade travel secrets. All right, thanks everybody for watching. Cheers, happy travels, bye. Hey travelers, don't forget to subscribe and let's hang out more. Here are some links to other helpful travel videos on my channel and press that notification bell so you don't miss any new and awesome travel videos to come.